four and three with an ERA of 4.71 are the numbers. Third base. The, the drama of that landing as he just pokes one into the gap in right center field. It's going to get all the way to the wall and he's going to get two bases out of it. And that's a prime example of why he's not just one of the top long ball threats in the country, but one of the top hitters overall. He got a pair last night. And a balk is called. Right there is actually a timing. One, two, and a swing and a miss. And that one is hit to straightaway center and deep, but playable. And settling under it and making the grab shy of the wall will be McCants. Opponents batting a cool 174. They thought they got another strikeout right there, but in his first year, a little roller to third. White double clutches his only play will be to first, and it won't be in time. I don't think they get them there or that they get LeBron there, even if it's fielded cleanly. Big situation here early. As the fastball clipped him. Didn't get much, but just enough for the jersey. And 23 RBIs on the season. It's a little tapper right side. That will get a run in, but they'll get the second out at first. There is a well-hit ball towards right, but off the end of the bat. And that will be caught by Larson for out number three. Ten of their last 14. One by LSU. A hard-hit ball that played the shortstop. Things maybe look even different as that one is lined softly into left center field. It'll drop for a base hit. Holding at second will be Braswell. Paxton Kling laying down a bunt. It's going to be fielded by the catcher Gassetti. A nice play right there. Here's Malazzo, the catcher. He pops this one up. Foul ground right side. It's going to be playable, and the catch is made. And that one is hammered toward left center field. On the run, Petrutz looks up, hits off the top of the wall. Two runs will score. White will dig for second. He will arrive standing, and it will indeed be a two-run double for the LSU third baseman, giving the Tigers the 2-1 lead. All over the park. Again, another off-speed pitch. Bama's going to intentionally walk Jones. Bats together. Swing and a miss. Chase the fastball up. Get set to deal a 2-0. Line sharply left side, and that'll be the first hit of the game for Alabama. A ninth inning base hit. Here's one through the left side. Not as sharply hit as Snell's, but just as effective at the tides in business. His offensive numbers have jumped. There's a good bunt. Holman's play will be to first, and he takes his time and is able to make the play. He coached Hammeter. At Northridge, there's a grounder that'll get the tying run in. They will go to third and get the force there. That's a nice play on the part of Braswell because, yes, a run crosses, but you get that man in scoring position trying to go from second to third. That one's hit right up the middle and through for a base hit and bounces away from the center fielder, and that's going to allow the runner to start towards third, but he runs right into the throw. Hammeter gunned down a heck of a recovery on the part of Paxton Kling. Seating as well as that one comes inside and catches Miller. In the middle of the lineup. That's a balk. A great jump for Miller, and... Pitched him around him late. But you got to protect. Double clutched on the swing. It'll stay in the air and grab by Kling. It's to Bull Durham. We learned that fact. There's a shot toward right center field, and that's going to be down for at least a base hit. Rounding the bag and stopping is Larson. A team that can really swing it well. That one smoked up the middle. It'll drop in for a base hit. McCants got there in a hurry, though. Payoff pitch is due with one out, two aboard, and that one's high for ball four. He let him get away. Great at bat for clean. Little roller right side to LeBron for one. Back to first, not in time. Boy, the speed of Brown. On TV, you 
have so many data points. A little chopper to short. LeBron makes the throw in time. Offering in this game are 77th, actually. But the 78th, a heater at 91, able to get it up and in past McCants. Breaking ball got him. They had a couple of guys they thought would be in that weren't. There's a single to right field. Gassetti will drop anchor at second. And Hammeter continues to do the job. The one, two. Weak swing and a miss there. Two outs, payoff pitch due. And ball four is thrown. Tigers, Ackenhausen's been in and out starting. Chopper to second. Milam will make the play, and that's a big out. Rips that one into left field off of Aiden Moza, his first full inning of relief work. I think they're just trying to manufacture a run right there. Oh, that one will help the cause as it hits the backstop, then hits plate umpire David Savage. I hear you. Screen, screen could have gone both ways. For and him. with the shift on, LSU takes advantage. Pearson, a single to left, scoring a run. He'll put on the brakes and get back to first, but Jones able to cross on the RBI single from Pearson. That will be his 21st run batted in this year, and it comes on his first hit of the day. Whatever Coach Johnson said in that timeout, and another one that bounces to the backstop. Moza struggling with control. 0-1. Oh, one. That one's belted toward left center field. Long run, McCant still running. Diving, can't get a glove on it. It'll tick off and go to the wall. Braswell's going to dig for third. It'll be cut off. He will slide in safely. And LSU has now a 5-2 lead on the RBI triple from Michael Braswell the third. Just a good swing right there. Aiden Moza going back to the well with another slider hanging up in the zone. Well, McKent's made a beautiful diving catch yesterday, almost the same spot. In. Breaking ball, kicks away from Gassetti. Going to be a play at the plate, and it's not in time. A big run scores for the Tigers. A four-run advantage on what is the third wild pitch of the inning. Charge to Aiden Moza and hope that that's good enough to get them to a regional or certainly after they do some damage. As that one is hit well towards left, is it gonna stay in the yard? It will hit off the wall and LeBron will pull up its second with a leadoff double. Lazy fly ball, right center field. Room for Kling, he'll make the grab. Tagging will be LeBron and he'll advance to third. Swing and a miss. Huge pitch there from Ackenhausen, and Snell goes down. Trying to do it again right here. And he takes ball four. Good eye there. Line right field base hit. Scoring will be LeBron. Stopping at second will be McCants. And the RBI single from Matt Gassetti makes this one a 6-3 ball game. Payoff pitch is due. And it is belted toward right center field, sinking fast, but getting there faster is Kling for out number three. One for four today, and that one plunked him. No enough, I've got a decent job and three kids. The 1-0 popped up, shallow right field. Long run for Hammeter, but instead it's gonna be the second baseman who gloves it, drops it, and then gets the force at second. A break there for Alabama. Two out, a rope toward right field for a base hit. Boy, that was a big out at second. Otherwise, you'd have a run crossing right there. Breaking ball, line toward right center field. Well hit, long run, Hammeter gets there and makes the play for out number three. If you're the Tigers. 3-1. Left center field drifting over, battling the sun and making the grab for the first out is clean. 1-0. That one's hit well towards center, but playable again for Kling, and he'll make the grab. 
Yeah. And a swing and a miss right there, and that'll do it. LSU bounces back and claims a 6-3 victory over Alabama here in Tuscaloosa to even the series.